We are looking at a very serious crisis of livelihood that is going to last for some time. On the subject of migrant workers, perhaps we can talk a little bit about this area, uh, the Tehar district in Jharkhand, because it's an area that sends huge numbers of workers to different parts of India at different times of the year. And the first question that arises is why do so many people have to go out of this area to find a livelihood? And why is the local economy not better developed? Because there are all kinds of resources in Jharkhand that could be used and developed to ensure greater prosperity and well-being for the people. And unfortunately, these resources are not sufficiently being developed uh, in the interests of the people who live here. And instead of that, the mineral resources of the state, and in particular of Latihar district, uh, like bauxite and uh, uh, coal, are being sold to companies and to the central government without benefiting the people very much. And that is why they have to migrate to survive. And now, of course, because of the lockdown, suddenly they have lost their jobs and livelihood. Now that creates a crisis, not just for the migrant workers themselves, but also, very importantly, for their families. Because the families of these migrant workers here in Lateha, uh, families that consist largely of women and old people and children, normally at that time, they survive very importantly from the money that these migrant workers send to them. And now many of them are not able to send money because they are themselves struggling to survive. So you can imagine the state of these families, of women and children, who don't have any substantial means of earning of their own and now are not receiving any money from the migrant workers, how anxious they must be to feed themselves and uh, how they must be wondering how long this is going to last. Now the next question is, what is going to happen after the lockdown? Uh, obviously, sooner or later, these migrant workers, or most of them, will reach their homes and their families because that is what they really seem to be desperate to do. And then after that, the question is, are they going to resume migrating? I have talked to some of them in this area, and basically they say that, look, we cannot manage without some work outside the area but we are not going to go very far at least, at least not for the time being we are going to look for work in let us say the district headquarters or maybe in Ranchi, the capital of Jharkhand but we are not going to venture far and wide for some time as we used to do and that is going to create a big crisis uh, of livelihoods in states like Jharkhand and Bihar because we are going to see a huge swelling of the labor supply as the migrant workers prefer to stay here rather than to migrate again. So they are going to look for whatever wage labor they can find, there's not much in this area. And then after that they're going to go for survival activities like pulling a rickshaw or chopping some wood in the forest and selling it in the local market. And the earnings from these activities are obviously going to be very low because so many people are trying to survive in that manner. So uh, we are looking at a very uh, serious crisis of livelihood that is going to last for some time.